I want to go ahead and apologize. I was going to use my other camera so I could, that I could edit, but it's dead, so I have to use this one, and I can't edit out the wait times or anything. But I just backed up all my apps with Titanium Backup, and I even did an Android backup using ROM Manager. So now I'm just going to open up the, the zip, and no, I don't want that. All right, so now I got to do it this way. ROM Manager... Installs it from SD card or install ROM from SD card. It'll be under downloads and then wipe and okay. I wish I could keep it where, like, when it goes to bright screens like this. The lighting on the camera doesn't change. Like manually set the brightness to stay at one setting. But I don't know how. Um, yeah. So now it's just wiping and doing a, a format. And it's going to install it. It's a uh, Android 4.0 uh, Sense 3.6 ROM. I'm going to start this out by saying I do not like Sense at all. I prefer Android the way it feels. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that one of the first videos, um, phones I did a video on was the Samsung Moment, and then the Samsung Transform, and n none of those had overlays on top of Android, which like the HTC has Sense, uh, Motorola has Moto Blur, um, Samsung has TouchWiz, like the e Epic 4G and the Epic 4G Touch. I don't like overlays on top of Android. I like Android the way it is, and. Um, a neat thing is, Google says that you have to include a Halo theme with any Android 4.0 ROM from a carrier. So that way people can not use an overlay and use Android the way it was meant to be. Which is freaking awesome. I will definitely install that. But um, on another topic, when this phone finally gets CM9, that's all I will use. I won't touch anything else. I won't settle for anything less. I am a CyanGen guy. I love how stable and fast their ROMs are. They're very good at what they do. Any issues get quickly nipped in the butt. So, yeah. And if you watched the video I posted a few days ago, I, uh, I was tempted not to post that because I'll, I'm going to link to the video in the description, but I was tempted not to post it because I didn't know what kind of reaction people would get. At first, I was thinking about making it unlisted and only sharing it on Facebook. But then I was like, no, nah, I'll make it public. And then I did, at first, I disabled the ratings and I made it towards every single comment needed to be approved because I had no idea how people were going to take the video. But it got a lot of positive feedback. I mean, I don't think there was not one... There wasn't a single comment that I didn't have to approve. It was... Everybody's comments were very touching and very awesome. And I set up a... Somebody said, hey, is there anything I, we can do to help? And they asked me to put a donation link. And that person sent me a $50 donation. And I got a few other donations. Um, and it all, it all totaled up to about $201. And I'm not going to repeat you know, what the video is about. If you want to watch it, it's in the description. It's very deep and emotional. Um, uh, so yeah. There's a lot, there is a lot of awesome people out there and I, I can't tell you how incredibly grateful I am. I, I truly had no idea that there were so many great people out there. I mean, truly amazing people. But this is since 3.6, Android 4.0. It's a 390 or 300, almost 400 megabyte zip. So it's kind of large. Um, yeah. Oh, I hope it's hurry up. Hurries up. Okay, yep. Yeah. Extracting data. Um, yeah. Oh, I filed my taxes. 
So, um, and like the around, I don't know, around the sixth, I should have that. So, I uh, I will be able to edit my videos after that. But after January thirty first, I might start actually like showing my face and appearing in videos. And I have another channel, Josh is Nice, that I'll post videos of me and my daughter. I post some videos. I posted one today, in fact, of her. If you want to check it out, um, I'll try to remember to link that in the description as well. This is the Android 4.0 boot screen. Uh, the the OP, Joel's, um, he said to pull the battery out on the first boot. Because a lot of stuff's going to get force closes. And I just cut my nails yesterday, so it's going to be a little bit of a pain to get this battery off. But I'm going to do it. Hurry up. So yeah, in about two weeks, two weeks, maybe three tops. No, gosh, no. Yeah, about three weeks. I'll be able to just fast forward through all this and cut out dry points like I have been for the last year and a half. AVS does not support the quality of this Canon 60D that I'm using to record this. I mean, <laughs> it does not do it. I put it in the highest setting, the highest bit, I've matched the bit rate, I've matched everything I possibly could. And it, it would, when it would finally finish converting, like three hours later, it would, it was terrible. I mean, this 60D, after 15 minutes, after about 11 minutes, it stops recording because um, once a file reaches four gigabytes, it stops and you got to start recording again. So that's crazy that it only takes 11 minutes to record four gigabytes worth of stuff. Hopefully this video doesn't reach that. Come on. I'm going to actually start, go ahead and pull the battery out now. Not the battery, but the case. That way when it does boot, I can just simply pull the battery out. If it ever does boot. I think that's the question right now. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> People say that I take my videos too fast. That, you know, I speed up too much. I, I cut out too much. And they complain. So, to those people, here you go. The slowest I could possibly take a video. No editing at all. I actually get some comments where people are like, Well, for example, one guy commented said, Your video goes too fast. I didn't learn a thing. And then somebody replied and said, You know, there is such thing as a pause button, which is the truth. You pause it. You could go back. You could rewind it. So some people hate the fact that I speed up and cut out parts and make a video not very long. And some people just can't stand it. I'm about to just pull the battery out. Alright. Okay. Ah! Oh, starting it without the battery on it is a pain. Without the cover. Uh, I got it. Please don't reach 11 minutes. I wish it told me. It doesn't even tell me how, how many minutes I am in this video. Don't stop recording on me. I'll be so mad.
Why must you take so long? That's another thing. Like today, I installed the uh, Nightly 20, the Build 23 of the Nightlies on the Samsung Epic 4G. And man, Titan Engine boots so quickly. Like, it's amazing. The system is so lightweight that, like, it doesn't use a lot of the in, of the internal memory. So, so you can convert user apps into system apps and free up user space. Like the Evo Ship, for example, it doesn't have but, like, 450 megabytes of space for apps. But it's got tons of system ROM available. So you could use Titanium Backup to convert user apps into, into uh, system apps. And those don't count towards your app storage space. You don't have to have Cyanogen to do that. But like ROMs like this are huge. Sense takes up a lot of space and resources and RAM. And why is this not booting? It's going to stop recording. It's not going to boot. I might as well just stop the recording. Why is it not going to boot? I wiped, installed the ROM. Wow. Okay, camera, you can go ahead and stop recording now.